Hello there. Here's a video to honor 9-11. And I want you to know, though, that, you know, even though it was a couple years ago and we were um, in this midst of big changes and stuff, we still are, right? We still are. But the thing is, though, this person still stays with me in a way, energetically. Not necessarily that she's with me, but yet, you know, me being a medium, you know, it was a tender moment in my life that I felt very honored. And so there's that moment where, you know, we were in the story, we were in this midst, we are in the story of who we are. But the thing is, though, that, you know, when I had this lovely soul on 9-11 come, to me, in Washington State, not in New York, who was a, um, she passed in the, she was in the building, right? The buildings, one of the buildings. And uh, she came to me to do the, uh, you know, to just say, what happened to me? What happened to me? And so I told her what happened and we went and found her body. And then we went and walked around her home. It was a plat you know, one of those um, flats that they have in New York. And her son, her husband, and I can see him in pictures. And if I could ever find him, and I I was on the radio last night, and I, this is one thing that I, it goes so fast, and commercials come up so fast that I wanted to say this on the radio because it was a perfect place, but I couldn't. So I'm hoping that somebody can get this to him. But, you know, it's the husband. I saw him. The love that they had for each other, even though there was the humanness between them. And then as we, she said her goodbyes and we walked out and we both looked up and saw the ring of angels singing the glorious song of sending these whole souls home. I want you to know that those that are still suffering or thinking of those of a 9-11, you're loved and the angels are with you. And the angels were with them. Blessed be today. Natasha Venter, AngelicClarifications.com.